okay, because of these popular unbiblical doctrines. First doctrine, hypergrace. What is hypergrace? Seventy and chapter three, verse seventeen. It's one of the favorite verses of the hypergrace false teachers. They say that God is looking at you and smiling at you always. He's singing. A, he, he sings a song for you. But then, if you look at the same chapter, verse 1, Zephaniah 3, 1, what does it say? Can you read that? Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 1. They like to quote Zephaniah 3, 17, but what does 3, 1 say? Quickly. Zephaniah 3, 1. Oh, it begins with the law. So God will smile at us, but God can also proclaim a war to us. If you are flirting with sin, or if you are stubborn in sin, that's the full truth. So hyper-grace is not a biblical doctrine. Hyper-supernatural next. Hyper-supernatural next. Hyper-supernatural, uh, what is this false teaching? This false teaching means that, that whenever you pray for a miracle, the miracle has to happen compulsory. Miracle has to happen compulsory. For example, if you go for a US visa, visa has to happen if you're praying. <laughs> visa has to be stopped. If you're praying for cancer, cancer, you, you, know, you cannot die of cancer. Cancer has to be healed. The Bible doesn't teach hyper supernatural, though there are popular pastors, mega church pastors preaching that. Miracle always has to happen, and one guy goes to the next step and says, You won't even die. You are in you the immortal of the no suffering, no death. Hyper supernatural, wrong doctrine. Hebrews 2 4 says, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 says, miracles happen through the work of the Holy Spirit according to His will. According to what? According to the will of God. That's the full picture. So hyper grace, beware of it. Hyper supernatural, beware of it. Hyper love. Hyper love, you know, based on twisting of some verses in the book of Revelation. There are people who say, from hell you can come back to hell. Why? We have a loving God. In fact, that is a whole, whole teaching. The teaching that says, everyone will be saved. Based on wrongly interpreting some scriptures. But the Bible says, the Bible is very clear. Salvation is offered for everyone. But to be saved, you need to repent and come to Jesus. But then you have an opportunity till your death or till return. To come to Jesus. After that, it's too late. And, and after that, you go to a hell and burn them forever and forever. The Bible is clear in Luke 16. The Bible is clear in Revelation 20. Verse 10. Hyper love is a wrong teaching. And then hyper Jewish teaching. You know, blindly supporting whatever Israel of today does. Cheering for Israel. Celebrating all the Jewish feasts. If we are supposed to celebrate Jewish feasts, Jesus died for nothing. In fact, Jesus is the fulfillment of every Jewish feast. When Jesus died, it was Passover and eternal, and likewise for all the other Jewish feasts. So we don't have to celebrate Jewish feasts. We don't have to blindly suffer whatever Israel does, because the Bible says in Matthew 21 43, God took his kingdom away from the disobedient nation to give and give to people who will be obedient. Who are the disobedient nation? Israel. Always going back to adultery. Always going back to idolatry. God wanted to use Israel as a missionary to the nations, but they miserably failed. So God took the kingdom from them and gave it to a people who will obey. That is the church. And that church has Jew, Gentile, People from Islamic background, people from Jewish background, people from, uh, from Sikh background, people from Hindu background, people from every background, people, Indians and Pakistanis and Europeans and Caucasians and every race. No Jew, no Greek. So hyper Jewish is unbiblical. Hyper grace unbiblical. Hyper supernatural unbiblical. Hyper love unbiblical. And what should we be finally? We must be hyper biblical. Last night. Last line, hyper-biblical. Why? The favorite question of the apostles is, what does the scripture say? It's there in Romans 4.3, it's there in Galatians 4.30. 
What does the scripture say? Whatever you hear, including from me, whatever, whatever you hear on social media, Instagram, wherever, your question should be, what does the scripture say? You must be passionate to find out what the Bible says. So we must be hyper-biblical, not hyper-grace. To know further about these false teachings, hyper grace, hyper supernatural, hyper love, hyper Jewish, and so on and so forth. We welcome you to read uh, my book, uh, Hyper Biblical, released by Notion Press. Uh, there are four ways to buy this book, and you can see them one by one in this video which Vikas Yadav has prepared. Uh, so uh, we'd like to uh, let you know that uh, your support for this book will promote sound doctrine in our local churches and the kingdom of God will be thereby established. God bless you. There are four ways to buy the book Hyperbiblical. First is through the website notionpress.com. Go there and search for Duke Jairaj uh, and Hyperbiblical, Duke Jairaj space Hyperbiblical, Hyperbiblical. Uh, and then the second way is through Amazon.in, uh, India website of Amazon. Uh, search Duke Jairaj Hyperbiblical there. And third way is through Flipkart.com. Uh, again, search for Duke Jairaj uh, space Hyperbiblical. And you'll be able to buy this book from uh, using these three methods. The fourth way is to reach out to us. Uh, uh, you can reach out to me on my whatsapp number triple eight six zero four zero six zero five i live in india the country code will be 91 and uh, against uh, gpay phone pay or likewise any payment for 600 we'll be able to send this book to any address within india uh, those outside india uh, please wait for this book to appear in amazon.com and amazon co uk uh, and also the website ingram uh, god bless you